Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel, man. <laughs> Great to be back, guys, with another map making video. And uh, always be nice to uh, share some, some more new stuff, you know. And as time goes along, the new stuff is getting lit more, less and less, you know. <laughs> anyway, hopefully soon we have FS25 coming along and then there will be a lot of new stuff again. But anyway, guys, if this is your first time on my channel, sit back and relax with us. We're going to have a look at some interesting stuff today. And a warm welcome to you. And uh, do consider hitting that subscribe button. It does really help my channel grow. I do appreciate that. And if you do like my content, jump onto my Patreon or give my videos a like or just uh, support me in any way you want. Uh, it would be wonderful. Thanks, guys. So let us jump in today's video. It's about mud. There's a mod called Mud System or the, the Mud Mod, whatever you want to call it. It's here on, uh, um, it is in game actually. You can get it under um, Farming Simulator at Mod Hub. Um, and you can download it. It's called uh, Mud System. There it is. Now, what this does, it just adds an info layer to your map. And it's a mud system that you can set the height of how thick the mud must be. And then, together with this mod, is also a dirt system. So, for some reason, they've added dirt. I don't see what the dirt does. But anyway, I haven't played around with the dirt as much. But it does add a dirt layer as well, and it's not a dirt layer <coughs> like you um, like you would have the mud. It's not level with the ground, so it's actually elevated. It's like a, a layer that probably you can scoop up with a front end loader. That's possibly um, what they want to do with it. I don't know uh, why you want dirt in the game, but anyway, dirt is there available for you to move around, probably. <laughs> have dirt in the game, you know. <laughs> Get your trucks and your front end loaders and, and load some dirt up and down, you know. Um, I don't know what, what would the purpose be of it, but it's there, you know. So it's there for you to use. And it's a, um, it's a nice mod. Uh, I'm not too sure if, if, if I see... There's maybe places on your farm where it's very wet, you know. Like a um, like a valley where there's a lot of water and stuff, and then you can add in your tracks a little bit of mud, you know, so you can get stuck there if you want to. <laughs> and apparently, if you if you look at the mod disk of this uh, mod, it also affects your fields. Um, uh, I was going to quickly read it with you guys. The sink depth, the wheel slip and drag, is all dependent on the amount of wheels and tire width that the vehicle has. Crawler sinks the least, while narrow car wheels sink the most. <laughs> okay, so that's a key wheel. Probably just, just slipped up there. All mud can be scooped up and moved if desired. All mud, full type, can be scooped up and moved if desired. The bonus dirt full type is primarily added for excavating equipment, just for fun. Okay, there you have it, guys. So you can... Take the mud and you can take the dirt and move it around with your with your equipment. So that's quite a, quite handy, if I must say. Uh, all vehicles, even dormant ones, are updated if moved and will sink, unsink if pushed, pulled into or out of the mud. Sunk vehicles are saved and wada wada wada. Okay, uh, okay, you can read this for yourself and go through all the things. There is a huge description in the mod desk as well. What I'll do in the video description, I'll put the link for this mod in the video description as well. So you, you will have it. And then what I've done to make things easier for my Patreons, always have something nice for them on the side, um, is a mud kit. So this video, you can use the mud kit from my Patreon shop. You get it for free there if you're a Patreon member. And then you'll just copy and paste the stuff that I'm going to go through the video to put it into your map. Now, this video is about adding the mod or the, the mud system to your map permanently. So it's not the mod, it's adding the mod, the mud system to your map. That's what we focusing on here so that you don't have it as a mod in the game so we, we we add it to your map so it's permanently in the map and that is how it is you know now there's a few things let's just quickly 
go through the um, through the readme file or the mod desk of the mud system I just want to quickly get to it uh, mud system here it is if you read here uh, the store there's a full station in the store where for some reason you can park next to it and add mud or remove mud from uh, from the stuff from vehicles uh, and then there's a few things there's also a console command which is very nice I have tested this it does work remove all mud and remove all dirt it will clear your mud from the whole map if you run those two console commands in game all right, so that is quite handy to, to know, and it is there. It's available for you to play around with. Now, what I've done in the, m in the mud kit, I've removed all the junk stuff in here. And just to uh, give credit to the guy, Viper GTS 96 he's the author of this map or, or, or this mod. And as you can see on <coughs> mod up, he's here as well. There he is, the author. So this is in-game. You can download it. Or you can just download it from the link that I'll provide in the mod desk file. Uh, ach, not in the mod desk, in the video description. So what I'm going to do, just for fun, I'm going to just copy this file and drop it into our kit. Uh, just in here, into the mud kit. So adding mud in here. And then I'm just going to drop drop it in here for the Patreons as well. So, so they will have an easy link to to get to the, the the mod download the mod if you want it like that all right but like i said in my mud kit i have descaled the mod of everything that you don't need so only the essential stuff is in there for you to add it straight to your map permanently all right so this is what the mud kit looks looks like and you can download this from my uh, patreon for free in the shop so you'll just select it there if you're a patreon and you'll get this whole zip file and unzip it and then it will look like this all right so adding mud is the first one we want to open up and there it is before we start so at this point of the video i just want to say guys um if you haven't done map editing before it it's it's sometimes can be uh tricky or difficult so do make a uh, backup of your map first so take your map copy it out of the mod desk into a different directory so you have a duplicate of the entire map before you start fiddling with stuff in there you know um, even if you are experienced like a lot of guys are uh, do make a backup first as well I mean that should be common sense by then for you um, as an experienced map maker <laughs> I mean, the amount of times I've messed up an R3D um, and then I have a backup, it's ridiculous, you know. So it's always nice to have a backup to fall back on. Mm, I'm just going to grab a sip of coffee here. Mm. I hope you're enjoying something with me. It's very nice. All right, so first of all, edit your maps mod disk as per the video and copy all the files. Do not copy the mod disk mud file from the mud kit into your maps root directory okay so you copy all the files except for the mud mod desk mud file all right from the mud kit if you do this the the other way you can download the the whole mud system as i said from that link and it will be a mod desk file so don't copy this into your map if you open this up there's a lot of stuff in here that you don't want so just follow the video um, as as we go along all right so like i said in the mud kit i've taken out all the stuff that's not needed so you will only have the mod desk mud which will look like this only the stuff you need <laughs> that's the whole criteria of the whole thing all right so first of all we're going to start off taking your map so what i've got here is my test map and it's a just a test map of the alpine map so it's a copy of the alpine map that i've just made for testing purposes so it's a not blank it's a it's a working map with everything in it but we're going to add mud to this now just to show you the whole process so we open our maps mod desk file and then we open the mud mod desk or the mod desk mud we copy everything in here but now if you if you do it the other way without um without my patreon stuff or the mod kit the mud kit 
then you will have to just see what I've selected here. Only the source files, the store items, and the, the, the uh, L10N stuff. Nothing else. That's the only stuff you need. So you only copy those. All right. And when we go to the Maps Mod Disk. Now I must stress here, guys. This Mod Disk is brand new, as you can see. This map has got no extra stuff in it. So if your map already have a extra source file section, then only copy this line into your Mod Disk's extra source file section the same with the store items most maps already have a store item so only copy this line into your store items and as well as the same as the the, the l10n stuff only copy the stuff inside here into your section all right if you don't have any of that like mine just copy everything in like i've done just now all right so i have to stress that guys and be careful not to copy below the end of the mod disk file this section here the forward slash mod disk is the end of the mod disk so nothing must be below this all right so copy this above this or if you already have stuff edit and add the existing stuff that is here into yours okay and then if you've uh, by accident duplicated this just delete the, the stuff that's not needed and add the the line into your source files and your store items and the l10 stuff all right and that guys is everything that you have to do <coughs> sorry for that <coughs> i've got some slime in my throat <laughs> um anyway so here we go that is everything in the mod disk file done all right so now the next step if we go to our mod disk uh adding mud all right so that is done so the next one is copy the indoor masks times two then remove rename to dirt and mud all right so we're going to do the dirt and the mud you don't have to do the dirt if you don't want the dirt but what the heck just do both of them why not have both of them in your map because it's only going to be where you add it as you'll see later on it, it's going to be a dormant um, info layer if you don't use it but if you do use it it's there you know so then you can play with around with it in your map mm. ah good stuff all right, so copy the indoor mask times two. So open your map directory, find your data folder, which will normally be in the same folder as your map i3d. You should have a data folder, and then all your info layers and uh, and uh, um, GDM files, your density files will be here, as well as all your your um, your weight files for your te ground textures. So this is the place where you'll find your info layer uh, indoor mask. There it is. So what you're going to do is copy it. I'm going to drag it off. Hold control. It will say copy to data. All right. Do it twice. So then I'll have two of them. So that's what I'm saying here in the XML. Copy indoor mask times two. Then rename it to dirt and mud. Okay. So what we're going to do now is the first one. We're going to go info layer and then just call it um dirt mask all right so delete this uh indoor and just call it dirt the case is very e important so don't make it a, a mistake with the case it's small it is this and we leave the mask so it will be dirt mask and then just delete the rest so your file will read info layer underscore dirt mask dot grle all right so that will be it and you do the same for the um, mud all right mud small letters and then mask and then delete the rest of the stuff that we've duplicated like so all right so now we have info layer mud mask and info layer dirt mask okay very important the naming you mustn't have anything else in there <coughs> because we're going to edit the i3d now the map i3d and the map i3d is going to look for this name exactly in case in the same case and in the same spelling so everything needs to be exactly the same all right so that is your two and also your script how this mod works guys your mud system if you look at that uh, um i'm just going to close the mud system thing the mud the the mod disk here for the mud you'll see here the source file this source file is a initialized mud it's a script so it's going to look for that two 
or the one um, info layer so if your spelling is wrong it's not going to find it and you're going to have errors so make sure your spelling is correct I've, I've actually skipped a step guys I forgot to copy all the stuff in there into my map so let's just quickly do that so select everything in the mud kit all right co copy just if you if you don't have the mud kit just have a look from the mod what I've copied here it's all the folders so we copy that and we go to our maps root directory guys here it is the maps root directory is the directory where your mod desk file is so you copy it in there paste it there it is so now we've got everything there is all the stuff that this mud thing is looking for the script even the script itself is in here initialize mud you see so this one runs everything of this whole of this whole uh, mud and dirt mod you can say all right great so now we are back to <coughs> where we left off let's just catch up quickly with our little uh, adding mud thing so we've copied the two now in the map i3d so we're going to edit the map i3d now so open your map i3d find your map i3d here is mine and my map i3d is normally in the same directory where your data folder is so that is just normal file uh, hierarchy which can be different but it should be the same should be the same but not necessarily have to be but um, normally <laughs> just find your map i3d and let's edit it so right click edit with notepad plus plus if you don't have notepad plus plus it's a it's a, a script and text editor um, and uh, um, xml editor so you can download it for free off the internet just type in google download notepad plus plus and install it and there you have it all right now the first thing we're going to do is click here on top hit control and f for find and we're going to type in the uh indoor mask just like that have this one selected wrap around and search mode normal all right so just click find and there it is so there's your indoor mask that we've duplicated so it's in the data folder and we've duplicated this twice all right so we're going to duplicate it twice again so click here on the side at the number so it will highlight your whole thing or you can just re select it by selecting from the right to the left so you right and drag mouse over that or just simply click here on the left Control c to copy go right to the top i always find it easier to go to the top and not have stuff like all over the place you know find the start of your file section so hit your cursor right click next to the file section hit enter a few times to create a few lines go up hit home button all right and press ctrl and v twice you should have two lines now duplicated if that doesn't happen click here and hit ctrl and v for victor and it should um, paste that line that you've copied all right so all we've done now is copied that line twice and pasted it twice all right because one is for the mud mask and the other one is for the for the uh, dirt mask so what we're going to do now first is rename this mask one to mud like that and then one to dirt now here once again very important the spelling must be correct okay very important the spelling must be correct now if for some reason you have a dollar data here at your info layer it shouldn't be but if for some reason you have you're going to have to copy that full file from where the dollar data is showing you where it is so copy it into your map directory and change this directory to where you have pasted it into your data folder so it should by standard be just data and then you paste that uh, little info layer in there and duplicate it and rename it to mud and dirt and then you should be up to where we are now the file ids how this works this is the file section of the map i3d so it gives every item in your map i3d a file id so that file id needs to be unique to everything in your map all right so what we're going to need to do is give this thing a unique id as well so just 
for now because what's going to happen is once you've opened the, the map now in the editor the editor is going to rename uh, rename your IDs or renumber your IDs into appropriate positions and whatever so this is just temporary that we're giving it a file ID that's unique so I'm just going to call that 01 for the mud and 02 for the dirt alright because 22,000 IDs I know here in the file ID section if I go down the list there shouldn't be a 22,000 uh, IDs you know so I'm fairly safe that there won't be another ID like that but just go through and check give it any ID as long as you remember that ID because we're going to use it later on now uh, in the info layer itself okay so we've got indoor mask here at the search so once you've done that too so we're going to go now to find next that's the indoor mask we've duplicated. Click find next, next again. It will take you then to the actual info layer. Now this is the info layer in the editor. Um, which uses that GRLE file as the mask. So this is the section in the editor that gives you the ability to edit that layer. Alright, so we're going to copy that now. So select it here from the side again. From top, hold shift, click at the bottom line. So it will select the whole info layer section like that. Or, like I said earlier, you can click and drag from the first to the last like that. It's the same thing. Control C for copy. C for Charlie, obviously. Come here to the bottom of the layer, the last bit. Click there. Hit a few enters to make some space. Hit the home key. So it takes you home. Control and V for Victor. And you do that enter once. Hit Control and V once again, so now you have two of them. So you need two, one for the mud and one for the one for the um, the dirt. Now this here is very important, the info layer name, because the script is looking for this. So you're going to call this first one mud, all right, like that, mud mask, and the second one you're going to call dirt small letters and make sure there's no spaces so that it looks exactly like this all right um, and then we're going to go for the mud zero one remember we named it and then for the dirt zero two so now the file id for mud mask is 22601 and if i now go to the top where i've made it the file id for mud mask is 22601 you see, so very important to keep track of your numbers. So we, we, we're not going to do the indoor mask because that's part of the game. We're just adding two info layers to the map, I3D, into your map. All right, so I'm just going to clean up here a bit. Uh, you don't really need to worry because the editor is going to do that anyway for you. Now, for the options that's available, you want to do the two options this is not important this is just text that um, describes the two values of of uh, the info layer so the first value you want to make mud area so I've just double clicked there mud area all right like that and then double click it again control C copy it double click the indoor control and V and then in front of the mud area we say a no mud area ah, let me just make the, the the this part here is not important on um, on your text and your spelling and that you can call it whatever you want here uh, it, the script is not going to search for this this is for the editor all right so mud area and no mud area now we're going to do the same for the dirt double click the the outdoor so we're going to call this dirt I uh, forgot again, I want to do it caps, dirt, area, like that, double click, control C, double click, control V, so now, and then we just put a no there, so your first option zero is dirt area, and the second option one is no dirt area, that's in the editor, so once you select the indoor mask in the editor, uh, the mud mask or the dirt mask, you'll have the two states of it dirt area and no dirt area so we're going to work with the no dirt area or, or the dirt area by default we'll see now i think it's channel zero which is channel one 
uh, which is no dirt area or no mud area. All right, so now we are done with the map editor or, or the map I3D rather. Save it. Don't close anything, guys. Just leave it open like that. But do save it. And now we're going to open the map I3D. So double click it for the editor so the editor can open it up. And let's have a look what's inside. Now, if you have done everything correct, you should have no errors. So we're going to first now have a look at your console. Let's go window console. Make this a bit bigger. And then scroll down here. You should have no thing that says error or problems or anything of, of the matter of a warning or whatever. Except for this info um, that is pretty standard about the... Uh, the density files that is far out that's pretty standard for uh, for any map it's just something in the in the game or in the editor that they have not been bothered about for many years so but let's not worry about that but the main thing is you shouldn't have any errors there now just go down into your terrain editing i'm going to take this up a little notch and then go down to the stuff we don't want first of all sculpting we're not going to use texture layer painting we're not going to use uh, foliage layer mesh painting we're not going to use foliage we're not going to use so there we go so we had info layer that's that little blue icon here info layer paint mode this is this section here info layer painting so in here we want to go first and find our mud mask but before we do that just save the map once just so that if something goes wrong and your map crashes, you have saved your I3D. Alright. Good. So now, close it up. And go back to your thing here. Your map I3D in the text. It will say, do you want to reload it? Now, remember I said the editor is going to change things for you. It's going to change all these little things for you now. So just go yes. Alright. Find the indoor mask again twice there it is and there you see it's now in order it's renamed your ids and everything for you so everything else you, there's nothing else that we need to do in the in the uh, map r3d itself so we are done with the map r3d for now but we want to edit now the map so we go back back to the to the editor open your map once again now that we know it's error free it has been re uh set up and re-scrambled and all the IDs are in place so now we can finally get to our editing so first of all we're now going to zoom out to see the entire map like that you want to have a view of your whole map in screen here at the bottom right is the nav speed you'll see mine is at 20 23 that's pretty standard you can hit the keyboard or, or the numpad plus and minus to to up that and make it less and more that will give you more speed when you zoom in and out all right so just a tip there for guys that doesn't know that well guys that's new to the editor all right so now we're going to find those info layers all right so hit the info layer here on top the, the paint mode and then we're going to go to mud mask first let's do the mud mask and then mud area you're going to go select channel zero remember i said channel zero okay and then here on top just want to uh, get to the top again uh, now i have to quickly now change everything back here <laughs> close everything i'm not going to use there you go so we have our terrain here now here by the radius of your brush you're going to go enter 2000 in there and make it a square brush like that all right and that's for a two times map if you've got a four times map make it five thousand if you've got a uh, a 16 times map make it about nine or ten thousand should be all right for for a 16 times map all right so there you go so select channel zero and now we're going to go just click once in the middle of the map with your left mouse button it should go all white that's what you want do the same on your dirt mask click in the middle make sure you've got channel zero selected zip like that all right so there's your dirt mask and your indoor uh, your uh, mud mask is now zeroed or 
as you can say, it is blank. So there's no mud and no uh, dirt on the map. All right. So now, before we continue, uh, we want to set this brush down to something small again. I make it five or ten. I'm just going to make it ten for now. Hit enter and zoom into a spot where you want to add some mud and dirt. So I'm going to find the farm and um, let us just play here on the farm with some mud. I know for a fact, uh, let us, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush of mine and just remove some foliage here. So I will have an area here that is blank and no grass so you can actually just see the effects. Alright, so first of all, make sure on your brush that you have, uh, is it now on the sculpting? Yes. If you open the sculpting, you'll have your right mouse button. Make sure your right mouse button is at subtract. Because sometimes I use my right mouse for other stuff. And then I, um, especially when you do terrain editing, I go to replace, you know. So um, just make sure your right mouse is at subtract. Close it up. <coughs> and now go to uh, mud. So we want to go no mud. Hit the info layer. And now you will see with your right mouse button, Yo, 10 is a bit big, but anyway, I'm going to put this area here on top as as mud. So with your right mouse, if you now remove the white, wherever you have removed the white, there will be mud. Okay, so right, right, right mouse and um, remove the mud. If you don't want square, just go to round um, and then you can now obviously manipulate your, your mud, how you want mud to, to look if it's in a little pathway or whatever i've just made a big blob of mud now you know obviously on a tar road i don't think it will work because tar road has got collision and all kinds of stuff uh, but on the fields um, this this will also uh, have effect on your field so you can add mud to the fields as well all right so anywhere where there's no um, objects like roads or stuff with collision all right so that's your no mud and then I'm going to go to the dirt, select zero there. And I'm going to just add some dirt here in, in a heap. All right, like that. Good. And now all we need to do now is close the info layer. Uh, we don't want to save, but let's save the map first. Do a save, wait for it to finish here at the bottom left. And then we're going to go run the script, very important map, uh, create ground collision map. Now this takes a while to run. So you once you've clicked it, if you click here on top, it will say um, not responding. So just wait for it to finish. Once it's finished, you'll see uh, it's got a little wheel rolling. Now once it's finished, we will go to um, the console again. And just see that it's done its little trick -a bobs there at the bottom. So console, make it bigger. Right at the bottom of the console, you'll see it's updated all the info layers. There we go. Placement collision updated, whatever tip collision updated. So important, very important step. After you've finished adding the map to your, uh, the mud and the dirt to your map, wherever you've wanted it, do run this little script and then finally it says here save to finally update everything finish up the map so once it's saved you can close the map all right and then lastly guys lastly we need to edit the map xml all right so your maps map xml find that uh so it just wants to reload my map r3d we finished with the map r3d i'm going to close that uh that we can close this is my maps modisk i can close that back to the adding this is that little uh adding mud xml that's in the mud kit now there's a line here that you need to add to your add to your maps map xml file it's the mud system and it's the data directory for it so if your map xml is somewhere else you will you will want to change this just make sure that it points to your data directory so mine is map map l point data if your map is your data directory is in a different place do update this um 
link or this uh, little text thing. So I'm going to copy this line and open uh, the test map. I'm just going to go right to the top. Yeah, I'll just grab it anywhere. I'll just put it here under any of these sections. There's no real important place where to put it. And in this line, you can now change the the height of the info layer. In other words, how thick the mud is and how thick the dirt is by verify or varying these numbers. So dirt or mud will be from point 0.1 to point 0.5 and dirt will be from point 0.1 to 1. So 1 will be 100% and point 0.5 will be 100% All right, for, for the height of the dirt. You can't put more than that there. The script uh, will chuck it out. So just vary between those two numbers. If you want to change the, the, the height of the dirt or the depth of the dirt and the depth of the mud. All right. So just have it in there. Copy this in there and save your map XML. Great. So now that's all done, guys. So we're going to have to go into game now and quickly test it out and see that it works. So let's hold thumbs. Mm. My coffee is now almost cold, man. I haven't had enough time to drink my coffee. <laughs> Just want to close up here. It sounds a bit softer. All right, so new farmer. Find my map. It's an Alpine test map. I want to deselect everything except for my easy dev tools. All right, and then it's, uh, hit the tool the key for my console to see if there's any errors flying by. So if you see any errors um, popping up, you, you know there's a problem. Alright, so that's why I all have, always have my console scrolling. That yellow line in the start is all the warnings for my zip. So I'm going to use my page up just to run through the whole log once again. Right to the top, there shouldn't be any red or any yellow in my map. So this is all the stuff my map loading. Alright, as you can see here, Warning only zip mods. So that's just a warning for all my unzipped stuff in my mods folder. Uh, which obviously my test map, the one I'm running now, is also one of them. I always work with unzipped stuff because there's no point in... You can't work in a zip thing, you know. So <laughs> that's basically it. Alright, so there you go, guys. And there, immediately you can see this is the mud. Alright. If I now stand on the mud, nothing happens. But... This is the dirt. There you can see the height of the dirt. So it's something you can come and scoop up and put it somewhere else. So <laughs> what would you do with dirt? <laughs> anyway, for the guys who are who are fascinated about dirt, you get those guys, you know, they are fascinated about dirt. Here's some dirt to play around with. But the mud. This video is about the mud. So let's find a tractor. Uh, let's just tap into a vehicle. Uh, I think there's a van. Here's a van. Let's take a van first and let us run into the mud. So that is basically now the mud is added as well as the dirt into your map. And now what happens is if we drive into it, we should have mud sinking in. There you go. And our vehicle should become very dirty, full of mud quickly. <laughs> Oh, my word. Okay, so I've got the mud pool here. I've actually made a, a mud pool for some pigs to play around with. So there you go, guys. Oh, I love I love how, how muddy the, the ground is, you know, where we've driven. But anyway, so that is um, the mud there. I want to quickly just run into another tractor here. I better pick up this weight because otherwise I'm going to drive over it. Just see what it does on tractors, you know. How deep it is. And like I said, you can now vary the depth there in the map XML uh, with that little uh, nifty line there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. It's almost up to the axles. Whew. That's very deep, mud. <laughs> I hope this is not the minimum. That that point one is not the minimum. That it's actually the maximum. Because if it's going to go deeper than this, it's going to be very deep. But anyway, there it is, guys. The mud for the guys that love mud. You can now add the mud anywhere on your map permanently with the help of um, Viper's Mud Mod. <laughs> Great stuff, man. 
Great, man. And then let's just, for interest's sake, uh, check those um, two little uh, text commands that you can uh, run here in your um, in your map. So I'm just going to bring up my thing. To, if you hit the tilde twice, it will give you the the place to type. So it was remove all dirt, I think. There it is. So it removes all dirt. Great. And then the same if you if you want to remove all mud, remove all mud. Alright, so there it is. So there you go. All mud is removed and all dirt is removed. So I'm gonna take that away. And then there's also in the shop, I believe, is a little place where you can buy and um whatever mud. So let's just have a look. Um I wonder where that will be. Could it be under miscellaneous? Could it be under uh, miscellaneous? There should be a store for the mud. I haven't seen, uh, checked where the store is, but somewhere, somewhere uh, under the rainbow, there should be uh, tools. Could it be under tools? No. Could it be under sheds? No. Silos? No. Extensions? Couldn't be extension. Can it be a container? Mud full station. Here it is. So, for some reason, if you want a full station for the mud, I'm going to just um, Z. I can't remember now. How do I turn this thing around? Here we go. Put it like that. Oh, well, let's put it there. So let's see what it uh, what it actually does. Uh, why would you want a full station for mud? Uh, and I love the little piggy that's in there as well. <laughs> so appropriate. So if I now go, uh, what can I do? R. Let me just open my console. Have I got an error? Let me just take the vehicle away. I'm, uh, I'm a bit flabbergasted. What can I do with this uh, mud full station? Maybe I should put a trailer here. <laughs> I'm just fooling around now, guys. <laughs> I don't know what it does. Why would you want to fool something with mud? Let's have a look if we put a trailer there. Oh, my word. Can you sell mud there? We'll have a look now with our full full things. I wonder if I can hook the trailer there. I'm going to have to unhook this thing first. There you go. This is crazy. I've never ever in my whole life heard of a guy buying mud. But anyway, let's go and have a look if we can buy mud. <laughs> Why do you want to buy mud? <laughs> oh my word. Oh, this is so funny. Oh. Right, so let's have a look. Can we buy him, Matt? Or? Yeah, I can buy Matt. Or did. Matt or did. Oh, my word. Matt, start. I've got the full trailer of Matt, guys. Now, what can I do with it now? Can I tip it? So if for some reason you've got a hole in the ground that you want to fill with mud, you can actually you can actually add mud to you. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can add mud. It's like the Jippo way. Uh, I wonder if it will work here on the roads. No, it doesn't work on the roads. Like I said, if there's any tip collision, so you can now add add mud to your terrain by doing it this way in game so so you can't paint it but you can drop it down so now i will go into the mud <laughs> oh my word okay so that is how it works i was wondering what this is for so you've got the mud that you can tip in your map 
in game so instead of painting it down you can now drop it where in your roads wherever you want but it's going to be quite a messy business but anyway let's just see if it will <coughs> if the script will remove um remove all uh mud yeah it does <laughs> okay <coughs> oh sorry guys Oh my word. Okay, so that is very interesting. I'm just going to exit the game uh, like that. Huh? What's going on? So anyway, guys, that is how you can add mud to your map permanently using uh, Viper's mud mod. I have to think of my words carefully because it's such a tongue twister, you know? <laughs> All this mud and mud and dirt and stuff but anyway guys i do hope you will support me on patreon uh, by jumping on there on my support and then you can have the mud kit for free um, or you can do it manually by downloading via mod hub or the link in the description you can download the mod uh, for the mud and then follow the video you know doing it manually all yourself uh, it's all possible, but thank you so much, guys, for watching. To everyone that supports me, I'm really grateful for you. Uh, for my Patreons, definitely. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful, fantastic week. Um, take care, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.